All right, y'all, sometimes some people think that finding the equation of polynomials is difficult, but you know what? It's not. It's pretty easy. We're going to start this thing in factored form. Um, and in order to do that, we're going to start by identifying those roots. So let me go ahead and click on those x intercepts. I'm going to get every single one of them up there. And then I'm just going to start writing everything in. So let's go ahead. Let's call this function g of x. Um, and I'm going to put g of x equals a, have that vertical stretch in there, and just remember working left from right, right on this graph, we're going to take those x-intercepts and we're going to flip them to their opposite. So that minus 6 becomes an x plus 6. Okay, that x, that minus 3 becomes an x plus 3. That 2 becomes an x minus 2, and that 6 becomes an x minus 6. And we're already almost halfway there. That's how great this is. In the previous video, I used a y-intercept for ease. But you know what? Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use a local minimum, that negative 4.76. Um, and this is going to be our x value with our y value of negative 79.32. Wherever I see an x, I got to put that negative 4.76. So let's do that real quick. Um, g of x gets negative uh, 79. 0.37 equals to a, and then I'm going to plug in that negative 4.76 and everything that's an x, negative 4.76 plus 6, negative 4.76 plus 3, negative 4.76 minus 2, notice it's going in every single one of them, negative 4.76 minus 6. Now, for ease, yes, thank you, Lord, for ease, I've gone ahead and just typed it in. So we can get that answer. It becomes negative 158.74. So this becomes negative 158.74 times A. Put this in parentheses so we don't uh, think it's subtraction. Okay, it's multiplication. Okay, and that is equal to that 79.37. Now, the only thing we need to do is go ahead and divide off, take that step of dividing off that negative 158.74. Let's do that, negative 158.74. And what you're gonna notice, I threw that in the computer in Desmos already. It's 0.5, boom. So A comes out and we get 0.5. Now, once we've made those calculations, we just need to rewrite the equation and then check our work because checking our work is going to be a T to getting this right. So G of X equals to wherever I see that A value, I'm going to put 0.5. Okay, and then I just write the rest. X plus 6, X plus 3, X minus 2, and X minus 6. Now, I've got that factored form equation written down. I'm going to come over to Desmos, and of course, by God, I'm going to check my work. And why am I going to check my work? Because I ain't wasting my time with all this and not going to, and to get it wrong. So let's type this in. G of X equals to 0. 0.5. And then I just type it in. X plus 6. X plus 3. X minus 2. And X minus 6. And boom, notice what happens. We verified it. It was blue. We've now made it over to green. We have created the correct function model that coordinate.